Missouri currently has 7,000 job openings across the state, and Governor Parson wants to give people an incentive to apply. Our state capitol bureau chief Emily Manley has details on a pay boost that Parson is encouraging lawmakers to pass. Many departments are being forced to pay overtime, and some state operations are being stretched thin as employees leave for better paying jobs which is why Governor Mike Parson is asking the General Assembly to approve the largest pay raise in Missouri's history. We're seeing this labor market is very competitive and we feel like to, I won't even say stay up, but try to stay in touch with the market. We need to do this uh, as quickly as we can. For the second year in a row, lawmakers are tasked with increasing pay for state workers. Well, I don't want to look a gift horse in the mouth and say, but again, it doesn't seem like it's actually going to fix the problem. Last year, state government workers received a 7.5% pay boost. You know, our turnover rate has started to come down a little bit. We've started to bend the curve. It's still way too high. With a 27% average turnover rate, the request this year is an 8.7% cost of living adjustment for all 50,000 state workers. I, am I right still that that compared to other states, our state workers are toward the bottom of the list of pay overall? We are. The House Budget Committee discussed the proposal Monday, which includes an increase in the shift differential to $2 an hour for congregate care employees who work overnight at prisons, mental health facilities, and veterans nursing homes. Those are shifts that are particularly difficult to um, hire for. Uh, right now, we have about a 30 cent an hour shift differential. So uh, you work a eight hour shift, it's like $2.40. That's not much of a incentive to try to get people to work some of those shifts. Currently, departments are using money from vacant positions to pay for overtime and contracted staff. With a surplus of roughly $6 billion, some think the increase should be more. We're trying to stem the bleeding just slightly by keeping up with a cost of living increase, but we're not keeping up with the wages in the market. The governor is asking for the legislation to be on his desk by March 1st, so state workers can see an increase in their paycheck by the end of the month. Reporting from Missouri Capitol Bureau, I'm Emily Manley.